Okay, I'm sitting here on my workbench. This is the Cottle Bridge. And as you can see, it has that center piece that goes down the middle there. Okay, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to show you how to take that middle piece out if you don't know how. That's pretty simple and everything. But first, let's turn it over. And you'll notice there's four screws in the bottom that we got to take out first. So let's do that. Okay, we got the four screws out. As you can see here, all four screws are out. And all you got to do is lift that out. Here's what the bottom of it looks like. And there's little tabs there that the thing sits in. Now, let's get to the part where we're going to take that centerpiece out. Okay, we're going to flip it up. And we have two little prongs there, two prongs there, two prongs right here. Now, what we're going to do is try to slide those prongs and so they'll go into the hole and that will loosen the centerpiece and what I used was a needle nose pliers uh, you can use whatever works for you to, to get those in uh, what I did is I took the two needle nose and I push it uh, together and I put it on one of the little prongs to get it down to where it's kind of snapped in, uh, or not snapped in, but uh, would be inside but not completely loose. Then I do the other side. Then I'd switch to the middle and then the end. And then we'll show it here in just a little bit. Okay. Now, as you can see, I've got a couple already loose. I still have one more to go here. And. Then we'll flip it over and I'll show you exactly. It's very simple. It just comes right apart. Okay, now we got all those prongs loose. Here is the centerpiece. And as you can see, I've got two of these. Uh, one, this one's already done. I'm going to be working on this one next. There's nothing I'm going to do with those. But this here... Is going to go back in here and once I get it onto the deal as you can see it's just kind of snaps in those little prongs that I showed you earlier and everything and now it looks more to me anyway uh, more American than it does with that centerpiece in there. Now we start putting screws back in. And I've got one in so far. And I'll put the other three in here in just a few seconds. And then I'll show you what I did on a finished model. Okay, here's what this one looks like after it's all screwed back in. And you're saying, well, what about between the two tracks? Okay, we're going to get to that. But here's what it looks like from the end. Everything is spaced evenly, just the way they were before. But, now, here's one that I finished before. I ballasted in between the two tracks. I repainted the bridge, as you can see, there was gray before, now I painted it black, and I put the ballast in there, right even with the top of the, uh, the cottle uh, base, I should say, I guess, and everything. So, now I got a bridge that has a ballasted deck. 
like a lot of bridges do have. Some do, some don't, but this one here is. So, if you want to give it a try, uh, don't, don't be scared of it, just go for it. And don't lose the screws. One other thing, I might paint this one here too. I might paint it black, or I might leave it gray and paint it gray, because I had this one weathered on another on one of the other layouts that I had. And if I do, I will take the two tracks back out. It's the best way to do it. You can either spray paint it, or you could use a brush, whichever you're convenient with. And don't forget to paint the underside. This is the hardest part because there's a lot of little grooves and what have you. So uh, I used a brush and uh, just dabbed everything in there, kind of on the paint. But if you spray paint it, it'd be pretty easy. Just uh, make sure you get it all. So you have more, to me anyway, you have a bridge that looks more American than, than anything else. And then it looks like with a ballast deck. So it's up to your way that you want to run things. Uh, just a suggestion. Uh, good luck. Have fun with it. And hope you enjoyed this. Uh, for now. Thank you for watching.